Blessed be the name of our God. Father, we just thank you for giving illumination to our spirit and to our mind as we look at your precious written word. Today our subject is living free in 23. Living free in 23. The Bible says, stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has made you free. Galatians 5 and 1. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we are not to try to pay for something that's already been paid for. Jesus did it all. When he was on the cross, when he said it is finished, provision was made for his people. Everything that we need to make it in this life, everything that we need, God has already purchased it. Sometimes I believe we need to settle ourselves and realize that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to see it as it is. In him we live and in him we have our being. All about Jesus. Everything that we do when we're training our kids, our grandchildren, Jesus needs to be at the forefront. We have blessed assurance because Jesus is mine, the song says. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. We are heirs of salvation, purchased of God, born of his spirit, lost in his love. This morning the subject is living free in 23. Several years ago I was cleaning the closet. I have a home that I rent on Airbnb. And I heard when I was in my closet, Ralph, the Lord wants you to enjoy your life. And he's saying that to all of us. He wants us to enjoy our life. How do we do that? We have to relax in him. In him we live, and in him we have our being. Isaiah 26 and 3, he says here, I will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me because they trust in me. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Somebody was sharing with me the other day. We were out for a social event, sitting at a table, breaking bread. And this man went in the presence of God, I was told, this testimony. He said, God, I wonder, do you love me like I love you? And finally, the Lord got back to him and told him that I love you. I gave my life for you. That leads me to John 15 and 13. It says, greater love has no man than this, that a man would lay down his life for a friend. God wants us to rest in him. He wants us to have blessed assurance in what he has done for us. Oh, bless his name. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of it. Uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 24, it says God is faithful. He's absolutely trustworthy. He that has called you to himself in your, for your salvation, he will do it, and he will fulfill his call by making you and making you holy and watching over you and protecting you as his own. Relationship is what it is all about. We can have an assurance that our Heavenly Father loves us with an unchanging love. A baby, a baby, somebody was saying, I believe it was uh, Joseph Press was on recently, he was talking about a baby and talking about uh, individuals' perspectives about how that God don't set up situations, make that baby go hungry for a time to teach him a lesson. Don't think that God is uh, situations that you are going through necessarily mean that. I mean, God is going to be with you in it, but he's not purposely setting up situations uh, in order to test you. Only good and perfect gifts come from above, from the Father of light. And just know that God has your best. He's got your back. Whatever you're going through, he's bigger than any situation. And, Father, we just thank you this morning for the presence of Almighty God. We thank you for being the great God in our lives. Our purpose for 2023 
is to position ourselves and recognize that we are to live free in 23. We're going to change our way of thinking, knowing that you are the God that makes the difference in our lives. We have the answer, so the problem is diminished. If you already have the answer to the problem, then you don't have the problem. And you are everything this morning. Our lives are hid in you. And we're getting an understanding. We are entering into revelation that it is all about Jesus. And we know, Lord, that the victory belongs to us because you've already won the victory. We just thank you so much. We get out of the way so you can be in the way. And we are going to do better in understanding and perceiving the greatness of having you in our lives. Like never before, we thank you for revelation. We thank you for all the ministers that have been connected on strength for today. Iron is sharpening iron. And every individual that has been participating, all of the, the prayers that have been prayed, we just thank you so much. And we just cover one another this morning. There are those that may have special need. I speak to those needs today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we just thank you, Father, for hearing our voice today. There may be those that need healing in their bodies, and so it is we release healing virtue to flow. Yes, Lord, from the crown of the head, even, oh, my, to the very soles of your feet, oh, my, we declare healing virtue to flow into your being, into your body, into your presence right now. And any spirit that would try to destroy Disturb your peace. We bind it now, and we give the devil no place. Father God, we thank you because you said it in your word, whose mind is stayed on me. I will keep them in perfect peace. And this we declare over each and every individual that's connected today. Perfect peace in Jesus' precious name. And we thank you today for strength for today. We are strengthened in Jesus' name. Amen. Beautiful word, bro. Beautiful word. 